Hey guys, it's Tiffany from Super Easy Math. Today's Einstein activity says the Venn diagram below shows a set of numbers that have been sorted into prime and even numbers. If a number is chosen at random, what is the probability it is prime and not even? Well, you need to make sure you understand what a prime number is and you need to understand what an even number is so you can understand which circle represents prime and which circle represents even. So even are the numbers that can be divisible by two. So that means two, four, six, eight, and so on. If you add two to any of those numbers, you're gonna end up with a number that two can go into. So that means the last digit will be zero, two, four, six, or eight of an even number. Prime numbers are numbers that cannot be broken down by any number except for one in itself in terms of whole numbers. So the side that is prime is the side on the left. So I'm gonna write prime up here. Seven cannot be broken down. Like you can't divide two into it evenly. You can't divide three into it evenly. Same with five and 11. You, you can't break those down. The even numbers are the numbers that are on the right. So you have to be able to identify those to answer the question. Now, the question is, if a number is chosen at random, what is the probability it is prime and not even? Well, we have three numbers that are prime. And when you're referring to probability, you always list your number that you are considering. And in this case, we have three of them, three prime numbers. As the numerator position in a fraction and your denominator is the total number of choices so that means we're gonna count all of the numbers and all of those numbers add up to 10 so the chances of pulling a prime number is 3 out of 10 so that's the answer to today's Einstein activity guys don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and as always, here's tomorrow's Einstein activity. See if you can solve it before I do. Then comment down below what you think the answer is. Then after that, head over to my website, supereasymath.com, where you can get my top five math tips to make learning math easy. And you can also get access to all of my videos where I teach everything in order with notes the way you need it. That's supereasymath.com. Thanks. Bye.